Uh, welcome to another video on a cylindrical grinder. Uh, this one is a Palmari. Uh, it's a uh, UG 20 by 40 uh, NC. Uh, it's a, probably a nice size production grinder in that it has a automatic wheel dresser over the wheel head. Uh, other than that, it's also got all your normal manual functions. Uh, so you can run a program with this machine and it does a cycle automatically or you still have the hand wheels that some operators like uh, so that they can uh, have some control of the machine. So the machine is fully automatic as well as fully manual. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll start it up here. We start the control, the screen comes up. And we'll start our hydraulic pump and our grinding wheel. Uh, we have a tailstock here with a foot pedal for closing it and opening it. Now this can only be opened when the grinding wheel is in the rear position or the grinding cycle is over. It cannot be opened for safety reasons in the middle of a cycle. Uh, so you have a menu screen here that, that, that shows all the different programs. Uh, it's a touch screen. Let's say I just want to do a, a plunge grind. Uh, it comes up plunge and it, there's different values that the operator needs to put in. It, it highlights the ones that needed to be put in. It tells you if you put it in right. It's very user friendly. Uh, so I have it set up now. At this point all I would do is press the cycle start button and the wheel comes in. The headstock starts to rotate and our infeed starts. We also go into a fine feed down to the final size and then there's a spark out. At the end of the spark out, the grinding wheel will go back. Now there's also a dress program uh, put in here so that the grinding uh, wheel can be dressed after so many parts. If you notice, the dresser is currently going over the wheel. We must have reached that number of parts. And it's dressing the wheel. The stylus or diamond was automatically advanced down a couple of tenths or whatever, pro whatever value you have set for the program. At the end of the cycle, the dresser comes back across the wheel. And then the infeed itself, uh, you can actually see the hand wheel is advanced the same amount that you took off the diamond wheel uh, for compensation. All right, so now that's done, so I can do a second part. And the wheel won't dress again until we've reached the, the value that I currently have in the program for, for parts. I actually have two every two parts because I wanted to be able to show you the dressing. Now we're in the spark out. After that, the cycle is reset. The hand wheel is set back to the beginning position. Also has a traverse grinding program where we have the table going uh, longitudinally left and right. Again, I have some information already in here. Uh, we need to start our table. The table is hydraulic and there are dogs that have to be set uh, on below there like a normal uh, hydraulic grinder. So we start our cycle and at each reversal uh, we'll feed a little bit or we can set it to feed only on one side or on the other side or both sides. So you see here we're feeding down These controls here would, of course, control the speed of the table. You can slow that down to be nice and slow. These are tarries so that you can dwell or tarry at the left side or the right side, or you can set both sides. We'll just speed this up to get this uh, cycle finished. At any time during the cycle, if you need to interrupt it, you just uh, can stop the cycle and the wheel goes back off the part. Or if you panic, you can always hit the e-stop button. Uh, you've got a, a mechanism on the side of the machine here for adjusting uh, taper, either to set a taper uh, purposely to grind or to, 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 to take the taper out of a workpiece that you want to grind straight. You've got your dust, uh, built-in dust collector with the grinder and here's your, your power unit, your hydraulic unit on the side. And there is a, uh, a nice uh, paper band and as well as a magnetic uh, separator. Uh, cooling system that goes with the grinder. It fits in the back. Uh, we have the manuals on the machine. This thing is currently wired at uh, 230 volts. Uh, 
Uh, there's a machine lamp up here. And that's pretty much it. It's nice and quiet. You can also dress that wheel by hand if you prefer. Uh, you can just loosen the clutch at the top of the spindle, the, the thimble, and feed the wheel down, the diamond down on your own. All right, I guess that's it for today. That's it for the Palmari grinder.